I served with a team of fellow Christians in Uvalde, Texas for the one-year remembrance of the shooting at Robb Elementary School where 19 children and two teachers were killed in senseless violence. We were there to give care and comfort. But I've got to tell you, at times it felt like a small band-aid when so much more seemed to be needed. As the week went on, the darkness was heavy and even a bit overwhelming. Maybe you're feeling that today. Perhaps you're wondering what difference you can make against such overwhelming darkness. I found strength and encouragement for that particular time in Uvalde from John chapter 1, verse 5, which says, The light shines in darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Sometimes we give the darkness too much power and minimize the illuminating strength of Jesus, the light of the world. While we may not be able to change the darkness of the past, nor fully prevent and stop the darkness ahead, we know that Jesus, the light of the world, will not be extinguished. And so, we're called to press forward in faith with words of hope and grace, comfort and encouragement, and to be that light to the world. So today, we push back against the darkness with acts of kindness. For as Jesus said, you are the light of the world. As we follow Jesus, we're changed by him we commit to reflecting the light of Jesus into the darkness. Would you pray with me? Lord Jesus, thank you for stepping into this dark world. Thank you for being the light of this world. Thank you that the darkness will not and cannot overcome you. But instead, you continue to push against the darkness. Would you help us to do the same, to reflect your light to those who are hurting, struggling, suffering, and in need. Be with us and help us to appreciate and to live out in the strength of your illuminating light. It's in your name we pray. Amen.